Hello, in this screencast I would like to show you how to install a Drupal 8 on Nginx, in my case on VPS on Ubuntu 16. So first what we need to do is to update all packages, so type sudo apt update. Good, everything is up to date. So now, as you can see, Ubuntu on default uh, have installed an Apache 2. So we need to disable it. To do this, tape sudo systemctl stop apache2.service. Good. When you refresh page, server throw an error. So it's good. Now type sudo systemctl disable apache2.service so apache won't start when the server boots. Now we need to install an nginx. So type sudo apt install nginx type yes yeah that's good it's installed so now we need to run commands commands used to stop start and enable nginx service to always start up with the server boots so type sudo systemctl stop nginx.service sudo systemctl start nginx.service and sudo systemctl enable nginx.service good when we refresh the page boom it's again an apache 2 default page why? because when you go to var www.html you can see there are two files index and index.nginx-debian so remove index and when you refresh the page boom it's nginx default page so next thing we have to do is to install our database server in this case MariaDB so type sudo apt-get install MariaDB-server type yes good now type sudo apt-get install MariaDB-client Okay, that's good. Now type sudo systemctl stop mysql.service sudo systemctl start mysql.service and sudo systemctl enable mysql.service so it will start up when the server boots now type sudo mysql secure installation uh, enter a password for, for root user change the root password now remove anonymous users yes disallow root login remotely yes remove test database and access to it yes reload privilege tables now yes good we need to test if MariaDB is installed so type sudo mysql dash u root its username and dash b and it will ask us for password Okay, it's welcome message of MariaDB. 
so everything is good clear now we need to install PHP 7.2 PHP 7.2 is not available on Ubuntu default repositories so we need to get it from third-party repositories type sudo apt-get install software dash properties dash common type enter do you want to continue? yes ok now type sudo at dash apt dash repository space ppa andre slash php press enter ok it throwed an error an ASCII error so uh, the software properties common package is buggy so we need I need it maybe not throw an error in your case so I need to type lc all is equal to c dot u otf dash 8 now add apt repository dash yes ppa andre php good type sudo apt update it will update our packages now type sudo apt install and it will be a very long list so this command as every command will be uh, in description of this screencast type enter type yes okay everything is installed now we need to change default config file so type sudo nano dash etc slash php uh, php slash 7.2 slash fpm slash php dot ini oh nano common not fault uh, type sudo apt get install nano nano is text editor okay I'll do this that way okay now click uh, control W okay it's where is command it check if file uploads is on well it's on again allow URL F open it should be on yes it's on where is memory limit change it to 256 megabytes now where is upload max file size uh, I made a mistake Mac, uh, upload max maybe this upload max file size change it to uh, 100 megabytes ok where is max execution time change it to for example 360 and date dot time zone uncommented and in my case it's Europe Warsaw okay 
now type control X uh, type yes enter everything is fine now we need to restart nginx to do this type sudo systemctl restart nginx dot service good now we need to create a database for drupal so type sudo mysql dash u root dash p enter the password and type create database in my case it will be Drupal block semicolon on end offline and type enter now we need to create a database user so create user Drupal local host identified by now you need to type your password there in my case I will type new password I will change it later okay we need to grant the user full access to the database so grant all uh, on Drupal block to Drupal on local host identified by new password with grant option semicolon oh there is a mistake is okay good so now we need to save our changes so type flush privilege okay now exit Okay, now we need to download the Drupal release. So, go to Drupal download. Right click on download tar.gz. Copy your address and type cd temporary and jet paste that link okay now go to tar dash zx v f drupal dot gz uh, not drupal i mean tar okay good type sudo move Drupal to var www html html good now we need to set the permissions for Drupal so type sudo chown dash r www dash data www data to far www html and sudo r seventy fifty five to far www html so now go uh, type su uh, type cd slash etc slash nginx slash sites available uh, now type cut Drupal okay now type 
No, no. Drupal. Now, just paste content from description of this screencast. This is my content. Yours should be same as mine. Just change this line to yours. Now we need to save that file, so click Ctrl X. Yes, enter. Good. Now we need to enable the Drupal site. So type sudo ln dash s etc nginx sites available Drupal. Now click space and type etc nginx sites enabled. Enter. Good. Remember that every single one command is in the description of this screencast. Now we need to restart the engine server. So type sudo service engine restart. Good. Now when you go to your website URL, you can see on Drupal installation page. So, choose your language, click save and continue, select your installer profile, in my case it will be standard, type your database name, now type your uh, username and type a password. Okay. Now continue. Now just wait. Okay. Now we can change the config. So type your website name, address email, your address email, your admin username, your admin password, again address email, country, time zone, Okay. Continue. Well, it's your Drupal website on the engines on Ubuntu 16. Okay, everything is good. I hope you are enjoyed. See you.